Five minutes later. I've been an activist for 25 years of my life. I come from a very long line of strong women. They always encourage me to use every single resource to help another young woman who's on her journey. I am sure black women will lead this nation to a better place. We're taking... Let me be very clear about the sentiments of what is happening in the West. The black family is considerably being downplayed as a way for population control. But before we get into that, I wanna talk a bit about our story as it relates to the United States of America. We, as black people in America, African Americans, have a long history of grassroots organizations. A lot of these organizations facilitated HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities, in order to educate us because we were not allowed to enter white universities. The funding that was done for these schools, a lot of them had farming on site. So one, people could eat. Two, the subsistence that they grew could be sold and garnered money. They also asked local black businesses to assist them in raising funds for these universities to educate people that look like me. Me personally, I am a product of an HBCU. So what does that mean to me? It means that I went to a institution of higher ed that was going toward people of the black diaspora within the United States of America. I enjoyed being educated by my peers and people from all walks of life all over the U.S. But what has become clear to me is that activism is now corporate business. Now, what do I mean by that? It makes no sense that all of these corporate sponsorships are now infiltrating all of these grassroots organizations that in the early 1900s were formed by us to aid us. And now those same corporate sponsors are using their money to funnel through these same organizations to down the black family structure by any means necessary. And what we are doing to that is accepting their money because we say, well, well, I have to live. Duh. Of course you have to live. Of course. This is a no-brainer. We all have to eat. We all have to pay utilities. And if you have a family, you have to feed and take care of your children. No one is negating any of that. Malcolm X talked about this a lot. Okay? However, at the same time, what are you doing in order to get this money? So now what we do is basically decide to sell our souls and our people out for the almighty greenback. Yeah. Answer this question for me. In the last 30 years, 
As you can see on your screen, you see the NAACP. And the next image you're going to see is the SCLC. What I want you to do is to drop down in the comments and name for me significant actions that they have done to benefit black people within your own personal community. And do not tell me anything about voting rights. Name something else. Name something else. What I am seeing here is a pattern. These organizations pander to get the money. And then when it boils right down to it, we see no return on investment, meaning we give, but we see nothing. Okay. I want to see real truths that they have done within your own personal local community. Drop down in the comments and tell me that. The next picture you see on your screen is BLM. For them, I want you to do the same thing for them. Tamika Mallory likes to say she is not affiliated with Black Lives Matter. If you remember when the election cycle was going on, what she did with Until We Are Free and BLM did was to post a link on their Instagram page, which led to donation link for the Democrats. How is that helping us? Many of you know why I am so just enamored with Malcolm X and the tenets and things of which he spoke and taught to us as black people in America. And even long after his death, and even during his life, everything this man ever talked about has basically come to fruition. This man was a clairvoyant, okay? He knew exactly what was going on. What you see on your screen is the Black Power mixtape. I am going to insert some snippets from this documentary. You make a decision yourself and see if these organizations are benefiting you. Using the pictures or using the names of children who have been murdered by the hands of white supremacy to get payola and sympathy from people, it is dead wrong. It's wrong. And I don't know how many of you out there have lost someone due to such violence. It is not a good feeling at all. So I understand Mike Brown's dad and Tamir Rice's mother when they speak out against these people. I understand. Something is to be said, again, about selling your soul for money. Because, again, my son, nor Tamika Mallory, is going to be able to tell you anything constructive that they have done outside of marching to help your community. And all of this women's rights movements and feminist movement, where is the black man in that? Again, a tactic to destroy the black family. Me personally, I am not in agreement with that. You will never get me on board with that. I mean, I was made by a black man and a black woman. So why would I be on board with such foolishness? Enjoy this next segment from the documentary. Thank you. Beautiful, but black isn't power. Knowledge is power. For you can be black as a crow, you can be white as snow, and if you don't know and ain't got no dole, you can't go, and that's for sure. The white man that landed here, he came with two great weapons. One is the Bible and the other was the gun. If it didn't humble you with the Bible, it crumbled you with the gun. And he's still praising the Lord and passing the ammunition all over the world. You know the points he said, 